Good evening, everybody. Thanks for your patience. We've got a great show for you tonight. We put a lot of hard work into it, and we hope you appreciate it. It's going to be a, it should be a good time. So we'd like to welcome everybody for joining us. And um, so we have for you today, um, we've got a brand new video, which we think you're really going to enjoy, and a couple new uh, commercial spots. Thank you, thank you. And why is Richard's name so small? Well, Richard, Richard lets his. Um, pardon me. I'm just. I'm just getting everything going here. All right. Okay, so we're going to get it rolling. Um, we're going to start with a couple of phone calls, and, uh, and we'll take it from there. So without further ado, good evening. You are our first caller up tonight on the Jesus chat line. first caller up tonight. Hey, how's it going there? I'm doing okay. How are you? 
I'm doing good. I just, I've just been really, really troubled. I, I've been getting all these demons inside of me, and it just feels so good to be talking to you guys. Okay, what kind of demons? Are we talking like um, things like alcohol, or are we talking about real demons that have kind of manifested I don't know. themselves? I, I just feel something inside my stomach. It's just, I don't know, it's just demons, and I feel like I need to get out, and I just, I don't know, I feel like I need you guys to lead me into a prayer. Okay, well, can you tell me a little bit more about this demon? Give me some background. When did it start? Well, it all started when I was a little boy. I guess, I don't know, my, my daddy molested me a couple of times. Okay. And it's just, I don't know, it just, it just went all downhill from there. Mm-hmm. And I feel like it needs to just come out. Is there any way you can just lean into a prayer and maybe that can help? Yes, uh, we can absolutely do that. Um, so we'll, we'll do the usual where um, we'll ask you to place your hand on the monitor. Okay, it's on the monitor right now. Okay. Uh, we, we need to say a prayer, Richard, for this man. He has demons in his stomach. Okay, so I'll start. Um, and I'll put my hand on the monitor as well. Okay. Um, dear Lord, we ask you, we ask we, we ask that you help, help this man to rid the demons from his stomach. Oh, my God. Sorry. Out of whatever. I think I, 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 think I have gas or something. Oh, my God. I think, sir, are you sure this, this isn't more about the Mexican food that you maybe ate recently and a little less about your dad? I, I don't know. Just, just keep praying. It makes you feel better. Well, all right. Well, we'll keep going. And we ask that by whatever means possible, you will rid these demons from this man. Shalawala bing bang. Amen. Can we ask Can we ask that everybody in the channel give an amen? Oh my God, I just, well, I guess, you know what, I think it was my stomach because I just took a mean ass shit right now. All right, that's it. Off to a fine start, aren't we? And here I thought this was all about his dad. And speaking of dad, our sponsor, Dad's Cream. All right. Good evening. You're on the air. Go ahead. Um. Hello. Hi. Good evening. You're on the air. Go ahead. I'm just uh, um, a little confused, to be honest. Okay. I'm just uh, um. Are you are you looping? A little confused, to be honest. I think everything's fine on this end, sir. Um, are you, are you looping? Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to put you on hold, and we're going to come back and see if you can sort out your, uh, your, your audio issues there, and we'll go on to the next call, okay? And I, I'd just like to thank you once again for joining us. Um, we were almost on schedule. Um, we are very close to our target. Go ahead, caller. Thank you for joining us. Well, thank you. I did not enjoy that first call. That was not that was not a good call. I think that was a joke call. Do you not think? I think it was a joke call. And we're going to get some yeah. of those, but we'll we'll just get through it. Yes. Well, uh, as of last week, I, you know, you may recognize me. I was a drinker, and I have since bought about fifty-five neon Bibles. Okay. And, well, every time I buy this Neon Bible, it's just amazing. I, I read through every Neon Bible that I have so far. And there's just one thing that changes this. Is there like a, a, um, like a sort of a map or like a sort of secret 
kind of thing going on there. It seems kind of mysterious to me. Oh, okay. Well, I can tell you there's one part of the Neon Bible. For anyone who is just joining us for the first time, um, the Neon Bible is our version of the Bible, and it was written by Richard Burnish, who you will see in a moment. Um, but anyways, caller, there's one moment, or one, there's one portion of the Neon Bible. I, I won't tell you where. I'll, I'll leave you to look for it. But if you read down the first letter of every sentence, it actually spells Richard Burnish. Oh, my dear Lord. There's other messages like that as well. Um, there's also, if you look at the very first letter in the top corner of each page and flip it like a flip book really fast, it will also spell right. something out. And I, I will not, I, I won't, sp- there'll be no spoilers here. Oh. I'll leave it for those who purchased the Bible to find it. Okay. Well, because the, the message that I've found so far is Blair's death sauce is extremely hot. Right. Is that the one and that I, comes with the skull on the on like a keychain skull attached to it? I think so. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's I, what I found. Mm-hmm. It, it, is there any like sort of significance behind that? It sounds just too crazy to be true. I don't know. I don't manufacture the sauce. Are you asking? Is there some relation between that Blair sauce and the Bible? Uh, the neon Bible. Yes. Um, no, we have no affiliation with, with the company. Um, okay, well, that's very interesting. Uh, well, you know, as you know, last week, you know, I was drinking, I was a heavy drinker. I lost several LCDs and whatnot. So right. I enshrined the CRT that I was able to put my hands on that did not fall off my desk. Mm-hmm. And I went to the store and I found an LCD. It had Richard's face on it. Oh. Just, nobody else could see it, but I said, this is the LCD that I need. It is a huge, huge uh, piece of uh, Richard Burnish, I believe, or God, or I don't, I don't know. Uh, he's pretty much like Jesus, but maybe almost better, you could say. Uh, ri- <clears throat> but it was ri- Richard it's huge. Burnish? You're saying Richard Burnish is yes, Richard oh. Burnish. He's almost as he's almost better than Jesus. Okay, yeah, I'm I'm not going to correct you on that one. I'll just let you continue. Right, and the the, the, uh, the thing that I was trying to get at is every time that I may be tempted to get a drink, which I don't, mm-hmm. I buy a neon Bible because I think that temptation is also a sin. A temptation to drink is also a sin, and they would condemn me to hell forever. So I have to buy a new one Bible every time. Well, isn't so. it better, caller, that, you know, with our church, it's really clear-cut. It's really plain and simple. It's yes, cash, every time cash, that I buy a neon Bible, payments. I get a pass into heaven for free. It's cash, amazing. Cash payments is the road to redemption, yeah. as opposed to other religions where it's more vague and... Yeah, you know, for twenty nine ninety five, it's it's amazing. Exactly, we tried to make it as simple as possible, and who can't afford that these days? Not oh, yeah. uh, the link, by the way, for a neon Bible is JesusChatline dot com. Right. Yes. Well, th- thank you, uh, Brother Stephen. I will look into the uh, skull and uh, Richard Burnish. Uh, neon bible maybe connection and well i thank you thanks for calling we we appreciate your call and 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 good luck on your uh, road to uh, success caller thank you all right that was a great call and it was nice to have a legitimate call that's that's what we're here for um by the way um his story there just reminded me of um and richard reminded me as well of a, a gentleman actually last week in uh, in New Jersey, actually found um, Richard's face on a piece of of toast. It was a piece of pumpernickel, and um, they sent us a JPEG. We'll see if we can get that on later. But it was a high res JPEG. It was three hundred DPI, so it's just right for the screen. Okay.
And we, oh, yeah. And yes, I, I mentioned the sponsor already, Richard. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I think you, you just had to step, step out of the room. Um, we'd like to say hi to Wild Hair Witch, one of our good friends and longtime viewers. Oh, no. Okay, we, we can't have any of this. I'm on it, I'm on it. Get, get, can you get that one? Uh, get, okay, we got it. Okay, we have a lot of calls lined up, so I'm going to take a couple more, and then I'm going to hand um, the microphone over to, to the man himself, Richard, Richard Burnish. He clear, you cleared it, Richard. Good. Okay, we're gonna go, we're gonna we're gonna move on to our next call now. Um, welcome to the program. We're gonna, go, we're gonna we're gonna move on to our next call now. Um, welcome to the program. We're gonna we're gonna move on to our next call now. I'm hearing. Music music. Um, welcome to the program. We're gonna okay. we're see when things like that happen. We're just gonna move on because we have several people waiting. <laughs> go ahead, caller. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm doing very good. How are you, caller? Pretty good. How was how, uh, how was your day? Um, very good. Very good. Um, we we started off with some wonderful weather, but there's some storms in the area now, so we've just kind of you know shut ourselves in here, and hopefully mm-hmm. we're not going to have any power failures. Uh, well, you can blame Jesus for that. Just kidding. <laughs> 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 So, I would like to talk to you about atheism and okay. um, why atheists are always so angry and mad, mm-hmm. dangerous. Mm-hmm. What, what do you, how do you feel about atheists? Well, did you, did you happen to notice on, on uh, the television the other day there was a riot that happened in, um, in Vancouver, Canada? Vancouver, yeah, yeah. Canada? Well, I think yeah. that's a prime example of, of atheists right there. Um, most of them we understand were homosexuals, um, right? That you know, I mean, I mean, not only that, but there was also homosexuals standing around with camera phones, taking pictures of this, like it's going to be some kind of a something they want to save forever. I mean, I mean, a man running out of London drugs with, an, with a club pack of douche. Is that really worth taking a picture of on a on a, on a Oh, phone? you're so gay. Oh, my God. You're so gay. It's a joke call. <laughs> Hang up on that. That was a joke. That wasn't a real call. Oh, someone's spamming the channel. Can you get it? And, and this is just a reminder to our, our... Hey, Roadhammer. How are you? Good to see you. Speaking of policing the situation... Our good friend Roadhammer is, has, is now here. Good, okay. That now, was that was a joke call, and we're doing our best to screen. We have a new system in place. Um, all right. And I am just going to... Give me one sec here. There we go. Okay. So, yes. So, we don't have a lot of rules here. We, we don't like to have a lot of rules. So, all, all we ask is just don't disrupt the, the chat because our viewers have a lot to say. And um, it's a family channel. It's about religion. Our religion. The religion of the neon Bible. And it's about selling Bibles. Hi, Sean, Sean Ray. Sean Ray? Sean Ray? Sean Ray? Sean? Welcome to our program, caller. Go ahead. Oh, somebody... Somebody was waiting on the line all this time, and now we can't hear them. Um, they're, they're, they're avatars of a cat wearing a, some kind of a spacesuit. Oh, hey. Hi. Um, I would like to know if you have any battle prayers. I, I, uh, 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 pardon me? I, I need a battle prayer. I'm about to go to war. Oh, you need a battle prayer. Is that what you said? Yes. Okay, I do have one actually. Yes. Okay. 
Um, Lord, we ask. It this, would be so appreciated. This man, yeah, I'm doing it. This man is, is about to go to battle, and we ask that you bless him and all C grade actors that they may enter into battle safely. And with this, we say amen. How was that, caller? Did that work for you? Well, we'll see soon enough. If I die, I hope I go to heaven. What kind of battle are you referring to, here, um, sir, by the way? A spiritual battle or, or a physical one? I'm going into a physical battle. Oh, dear. Uh, what, what, can you give us a little bit more information? Yeah. There's um, another group of people. They uh, go by the name of Malevolence. Mm-hmm. Recently, they uh, declared war on us, so we're going to bring the fight to them. I see. Well, we don't want to get in the middle of any squabbles here, do we, Richard? Oh, I should have asked him before I hung up on him. Yeah, call back, call back, because Richard had a very good question for you. Um, yes, yes. Um, speaking of which, Richard, are you ready to, um, to rock the mic? <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Well, thank you, everybody. Um, we're glad to be back with you again. And we're going to have a great night tonight. And I'm now going to hand things over to Mr. Pastor Richard Burnish. Richard? Thank you, thank, thank you Stephen. It's just, um... Get that cable got cable got a little twisted on on that one. Thank you for um, warming it up for me. <laughs> so so to, so to, so to speak, as a joke. <laughs> um, hello everybody. Um, uh, hi, hello. I'm your uh, host, um, Richard Burnish, and uh, welcome to the Jesus Chat Line. Uh, we're starting things off a little differently today. Um, uh, uh, Stephen, uh, my co-pastor, or co-pilot, <laughs> as we like to call him, <laughs> um, started uh, the show off for me because we had to finish up, uh, finish up some of our uh, donation, donation money uh, uh, feedback letters. Um, but um, thank you, Stephen, for for um, rocking the mic. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I'm just kidding. We like to joke in the show. We like to do a lot of jokes. Um, but just to remind everybody, uh, for all of our callers, this is a family uh, channel. This is a, um, a religious family channel. So we're here to listen to your stories. Uh, perhaps uh, uh, we do confessions. Um, uh, some of us, some, some viewers even call in with a, with a song. So... Um, Feel free. Just just keep it clean, importantly. And I, I just remember sometimes we do get Joe calls on this channel. Uh, we are screening them. We're monitoring all of the IP addresses. Is it IP? Is it IP addresses? IP addresses. We're monitoring all of the IP addresses. So if you call, like the callers that are trying to ruin, because there's some... Some folks sometimes try and ruin it for everyone. So we'll be monitoring all IP addresses, and we will phone the police. Okay? So I think we understand each other. We will phone the police. So we're just going to go over to this next call. Hello, caller. You're live on the air with uh, Richard Burnish. Speak it really well. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hello there, Hi, can caller. you hear me? I can hear you. I can hear you. Hi, can you hear me? So, did you have uh, a question? Hi. Um, um, I just first, I wanted to wonder. Yeah, I just want to wonder why there's so many joke calls on here. Like, well, I think that's part of. I want to be cleansed. Plan. I don't get it. We're calling the police. We're going to get this all sorted out. Don't worry. We're monitoring those those if addresses, and we'll be contacting the police. So, I, I think a lot of uh, people try and ruin it. For I think everyone that's. Else. 
I think that's good because the people that really want to be cleansed on here. Well, uh, we're here to help those that, that want it, so to speak. So I just have a question. I have one question. Yeah, yes. If you suck a nigga dick, does it taste like a watermelon? I hope it's not going to be one of these nights. Sorry. I, I had went to cross my legs and I accidentally crunched myself on that one. So um, I hope it's not going to be like that. Sorry to everybody in the room. That, that's really inappropriate. Hello, caller. You're, you're live on the, the air with Richard Burnish. This is the Jesus chat line. Uh, did you have a story, perhaps, or did you need help? Um... I have a serious question. Uh, the other day, okay. I was I was watching your video, the uh, Circle of Light. I think. Yes. Cost um, fifteen thousand dollars that video. It looks great, doesn't it? Yes, and it really moved me. Or at least I thought it did. I felt something inside of me. Yeah. yeah Sorry, it, I'm tearing up here. It's. It'll do that. Yeah. Um, did you Did you have a favorite part of the video, or you, you, um... it was just wonderful. Yeah, well, but but the movement was. <laughs> Sorry, Cole, you're breaking up really bad. What? The, the movement inside of me was yeah. the fact that I had to take oh, a shit. Man. I had to take a shit. It's a joke. Okay. 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 Um, we're. Stephen, we need to screen these calls a bit better. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna take a quick a quick break. Um, we'll we'll be 